I've been on the weather. Uh, just thought to share my thoughts and views on the current situation with regards to our current uh, foreign minister, JT, and his uh, daughter on what uh, they've said through the social media and now that uh, the rest of the Papua New Guineans are talking about it. The point I'm trying to bring out here is not very much on what uh, the minister and his daughter have said or have done. However, the few points I uh, want us to see in this situation is a um, <coughs> First of all, um, uh, let's look at the, the root cause of how this thing has uh, aspired. Okay, leaving that, I'll just uh, I'll go to two points first. Um, any father, regardless of uh, the foreign minister, but having been in a position and as such and decided to take his uh, daughter for an official trip would have done that uh, this is not to justify anything but uh, that's a reality someone who is in that power and you know at that time decides to take his child with him may have okay let's leave that and uh, let's look at the second point which is in this current generation with the exposure to social media hashtag uh, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram, etc, etc. Anybody and everybody regardless of the age group want to post uh, whatever they are doing and wherever they are at and all that. So with uh, those few points I'd like to also ask a few questions um, to to justify those two points that I've uh, mentioned above. Uh, question one is: um, Does our foreign affairs department have a media and publication team? And the second question that that's leading to the first question is: Do they have any protocols in place that guides and control our Party uh, parties or contingents uh, that are traveling during that official trip on what to be posted or uploaded into social media. <coughs> um, having to say that, you know, you and I, everyone, everyone's free to take photos and videos. But uh, the reason why I ask those two important questions is. Uh, there's to be some mechanisms in place to uh, at least to guide how photos and pictures are uploaded during uh, official travel for me uh, in this uh, with this current situation um, we can't change what has happened to happen but uh, to agree and accept whatever the fate of the decision that will be uh, brought forth However, my strong views on this situation is as much as we're talking about uh, how they were, uh, you know, use certain words that has uh, really uh, put, uh, uh, discriminated us. It's also important for us to also look at uh, those departments and within the government uh, entities. And when they are uh, when such official travels are done at least have some mechanisms in place to guide how photos are taken videos are taken i mean you can take but especially in terms of uploading and things like that and if we look at the root cause of it it was because there was no uh, mechanism in place to restrict the level of level and the degree as to what is posted and uploaded and all that and you know for uh, minister's daughter uploading whatever she did you know maybe she did it out of uh, uh, ignorance and all that but uh, like if we look at it it came back to the reality 
of uh, taxpayers and all that saying hey this and that but you know you take it out of the picture take Minister Justin out of the picture and it may have been anybody so my point here is as much as we are also criticizing and raising our alarms on what was done it's uh, it's uh, we also need to have those mechanisms in place just to restrict as i've already mentioned restrict a certain the degree of how things are posted during official travels so it's also it's just my thoughts for us to see and maybe um, avoid things from es escalating into such degree in the future thank you